Well, we welcome you to another uh, Way of Wisdom time together as we're looking at the book of Proverbs. And today we're going to begin chapter 4. I'm going to read several verses in the beginning of chapter 4, verse 13. And uh, these 13 verses just basically tell us the benefits of wisdom. The book of Proverbs gives us two different choices in life. We either live like a fool or we live wise. And the way of a fool leads to destruction, but the way of the wise leads to life and many other blessings. And so just listen to these words and then we'll go back over it and highlight some of the benefits of wisdom, keeping in mind that we have three sources of wisdom. We ask God and God can supernaturally impart wisdom. We also get wisdom from life's experience and the experience of others. But all of that has to be filtered through the wisdom of the Scripture, the Word of God. And this passage is a father teaching a son. That's the picture here. And God, our Heavenly Father, wants to impart His instruction, His wisdom to each of us, and He does that through the Word. Well, let me read this great passage. And uh, basically the, the center of this passage, the focus of this passage, uh, is getting wisdom and the benefits of wisdom. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered, and when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction and do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Well, here's the story, or the picture the fa of a father teaching his son wisdom, and he's personifying wisdom uh, using the female, saying her, wisdom meaning her, if you embrace her, if you love her, don't forget what these words are teaching you. I just want to give a side note. Those of you that are watching that are fathers, one of your primary ministries in life is to impart wisdom to your children. The wisdom that only comes from God. The wisdom that is peaceable and righteous. The wisdom that comes not from the world's way of thinking, but this wisdom comes from the Scripture and from the Spirit of God. And as God works that wisdom into your life, you can then impart it unto your children and through them, through your children's children. So we have an awesome responsibility. Well, wisdom. Wisdom is learning how to live. And how do we learn how to live? By going to the Scripture, by, by God's instruction in the Scripture. Now let's look at some of these promises today. And then I'm going to challenge you at the end to pray for wisdom and to open your life and seek wisdom. Open your heart to that wisdom that comes directly from God like a gift of the Spirit. But also learn wisdom from godly men and women and learn wisdom from the Scripture. Again, the, the whole idea is not just knowledge. Knowledge is a part, but wisdom is putting it into action. It's skill for life. Well, notice in verse 6, Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. There's protection in wisdom. There's restraint in wisdom. As we learn the book of Proverbs, we will see that much of it has to do with keeping us from the evil way. So wisdom will preserve and will protect you. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Isn't it amazing how people will pursue positions and material possessions, and yet they'll never seek wisdom. And yet wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get wisdom, get understanding. Notice in verse 8, exalt her and she will promote you. You don't need to trample over people or manipulate people or play political games to get promotion. Just exercise wisdom. 
Seek God for His wisdom and live wisely, and promotion will come. It says in verse uh, 8 as well, She will bring you honor when you embrace her. So when you make it your goal to live wisely, live according to God's principles, whether it be in terms of your relationships, in terms of how you work, in terms of how you handle your money, in terms of how you treat your neighbors, get wisdom, embrace wisdom. She will promote you and she will honor you. Then verse 9, she will place on your head an ornament of grace. The grace of God comes into your life through wisdom. An ornament of grace, a crown of glory, she will deliver to you. Glory and grace. Hear my son and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. God can even add years to your life if you live wisdom. So get wisdom, it's the principal thing. I've taught you in the way of wisdom, I have led you in my right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered, and when you run, you will not stumble. And so there is security. Look at verse 13. Take firm hold on instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Well, I want to challenge you today to go on a wisdom quest. To say, Lord, let me find more of your wisdom today. In all of my getting, let me get wisdom. And all of these benefits can be a part of your life if you seek and practice the wisdom that comes only from God. I caution you to not get caught up in the world's ways and the world's teachings, but to go right to the scripture and base your life and your decisions and the way you treat people and the way you handle money, everything about your life, put it in line with God's word, you'll have wisdom. And wisdom will preserve you, wisdom will protect you, wisdom will promote you, and so many benefits give you glory, honor, grace, all because of wisdom. So let's pray. Father, today, keep us in the way of wisdom. Let us not forsake wisdom. Let us not forget the words that you have taught us. We thank you that you are wisdom to us, and you've given us your word that we might live wisely. And we thank you for these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.